Gotcha. Um, I don't want to... I, actually, we could just load, right? Hold on. Chapter 2. Okay. Uh, actually, we... Hold on, where was it? Was it here? Uh, Jules, are you here? I'm gonna show you the dialogue that happened. If you are here. With the whole uh, um, clothing thing. Suddenly, a floral perfume like scent washes over oh, me. Stardust. I was just thinking about you. So, this was the situation and I sprayed her last time. I'm not gonna do that since I guess you wanna see it. So. In fact, I've just been so hopelessly distracted by you that I seem to have misplaced all of my clothes and adornments. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever should we do, hmm? That's recovered. Okay, it's the same thing. It is the same thing. It is a character thing and not a spray thing that happened. So you cannot blame me for that one. <laughs> Always in the mood. Okay, there we go. That was it. I'm gl I hope you're happy now. Okay. Oh, that's great news. It is. But then again, it's only one heart, so something needs so something is off. Don't you think? <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing, but if there's any loose ends left to tie up, now would be a good time to do it. Before uprooting me, that is. Haste makes waste, after all. I still haven't beaten Billy yet. If I don't do it now, I might not get another chance. But then again, Billy is scary as hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted, but who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. If I knew that exact number, I might be able to come up with a strategy. I mean, we do know the number. Uh, Auntie showed us our death counter, no? Wait, where is it? I think it's on this side? What? These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Wow, look at all the times I've kicked the bucket. Jeez. I had no idea I have died so many times, and yet I'm still here. Wait, that's it. If I show this to Billy, I might make it out of this. I should wait here. Oh, Billy! Where you at? So, I am not sure on uh, how long I'm gonna keep going today. I don't think we're gonna complete uh, chapter 3 today. I think I'm gonna finish chapter 2. Um, you know, every chapter 2 thing. And then... Um, what are you doing? Don't tell me you've given up. We're gonna call it a day, I think. So let's see what Billy has for us. I was clear what would happen if I caught you. There is no dishonor in killing you now. Actually, I can prove I'm stronger than you right here, right now, without throwing a single punch. Take a look. You're bluffing. Is this some kind of a trap you set for me? You have to stream until 7pm? Why? Why 7pm? What's then? It sounds very specific, Lucas. Not a trap. A scoreboard. Scoreboard? A 12 foot tall cat girl in high heels from outer space. Okay, <clears throat> hold on. A 12 foot tall cat girl in high heels from outer space carved these notches into the wall. Well, 7 p.m. I got Dini. Well. <laughs> Alright, come on. That's what you get for not inviting me to play DD. So. Alright, go on. Really, I haven't already lost you? 
It makes sense to you so far. I work for a cult that worships a four-eyed goat tree from outer space. Your story really isn't outside the realm of uh, believability. Go on. She made these notes because she wanted to discourage me. Not like I'm the EM. Yamming is hard. <laughs> That's why nobody wants to do it. She makes a permanent tally mark on the wall each time you kill me. She left this to prove I'll only lose against you, but actually, it's the only way I could have ever proven I've won. So, I've beaten you to death countless times? That's your point? My point is that my tenacity is infinite. All of these times I've lost, and you're not any closer to defeating me. You see, right? This may be the number of times I've fallen, but also it's the number of times I've come back. Uh, you're telling the truth, aren't you? Yeah, Lucas, DM for us. However, all you've proven is that we're in a stalemate. If you really believe I'd spare you because we're tied at the moment, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you still have to die. Your personal honor code means you only listen to someone that's stronger than you, right? And you listen to Buck. That must mean he's stronger than you, because he is immortal. Even if I manage to break him in two now, he could beat me the next time we met by already knowing what I was going to do. That makes him stronger than me. But he'd be worse for wear, right? He keeps the mental and physical trauma from all of your previous attempts to kill him. Right, this is what we learned in the first chapter. And I don't. I come back good as new every time, without even remembering how I got my head handed to me. If Buck and I fought, I would eventually win, because his injuries would accumulate and mine wouldn't. Sure, I'll start a campaign with Grip, the most reliable person in the world when it comes to regular save. Listen. That's fair. <laughs> The, the only schedule that's worse than mine is yours. <laughs> it makes me stronger than Buck, which makes me stronger than you. Dot, dot, dot. Well, what does she, sh she think? She shinken. <laughs> oh, proving you're stronger than me without throwing a single punch. I see your strength. I won't come after you anymore if you spare me. Damn. Okay. Spare her? Jeez. She really does believe I'm much stronger than her. I mean, I guess I was telling the truth, but I didn't ex expect her to submit like this. She must take that honor code of her seriously. It's a deal, on two conditions. What's the first one? Could you maybe take off your mask? Fine. Oh, look at her. Such a cutie. You don't have the sacramental stare? No, I'm not one of the thousand. I'm not even from here either. So, what's the second order? Oh, damn, okay. Once I finish the uprooting ritual to set Roxanne free, I want to escape alive with a book. Done. Really? Easy as that? That's a huge relief. But be warned. When Buck sees me helping you, there's no way he'll let me meet you again in the next life. I'll either be dead or somewhere far, far away. If I do this, this is the only time I'll be able to help you. This reality is your only shot. Oh damn, that's... rough. So this is the only time I'll be able to count on Billy. I'd better make it count. Alright. Once I finish the last ritual, ritual, we are going. Good answer. I'll watch your room until then. Aww. Oh, hold on, we have to go downstairs now, right? Yeah. Okay. We have to go downstairs now and... Um... Oh, look at her! Look at her! Let's head on down. All right. Be on guard. Buck might be surveilling us. Oh wait, actually, can we go back up? I wanna see if we can. Shit. 
Okay, never mind. I guess we cannot shit. That's fine. No shitting for us. Make a turn, Z. Okay, guys, which heart? Red, purple, or purple? Mm. Let's go for a purple one this time. Wait, don't. Not yet. Please. Reed. We just did read. What are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares. Since my dreams were something to look forward to. Now that you're here. Red means scary. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. How do I know I won't be alone next time? What if you aren't there to make me feel safe? I don't want to leave. Okay, we can stay. What? I'll stay with you here for as long as you need. But we can't. I know that. We sit around and wait instead of ending this now. Bad things will happen to both of us. We'll lose our opportunity to end things on our own terms. Something bad is bound to happen to everyone. That's life, but that doesn't mean it's not worth living through. I'd never cut my time here with you short just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until someone drags me away. I can't ask you to do that. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they do to you. Yes, you could. You big old warrior. What? Whatever. You know what? We, we already had all of this, so. Ready. Okay, we'll do red because Lucas. You know. Lucas doing Lucas things. Thank you. My sweet stardust. All done here. Black woods are burning. Buck probably knows now. This is our one shot. Only one opportunity. Okay, we have to go, go. Go, go, go. Alright, what's the plan? Can you get us out of here? Yes. Remember that the Thousand formed a perimeter around the house. If we run out blindly, we're finished. The burning mm. roots are invisible too. So to stay safe, keep your feet on something that doesn't burn. Like cement or water. I saw a pond on the foot... Oh no. It's Buck. Where is he? Okay, that we have to get to the pond somehow. Well, that's it. Billy is dead. Good job. We made a friend and they died. That's awesome. Wait, not in the TV room. Yeah, it sucks. Then again, it's only this reality where she dies, right? It's sad that Buck killed her, though. Really, it really bugs. See what I did there? Oh. I guess I'm dead. Thank god that missed. I turn around to see Buck silently loading another shell into his shotgun. That must hurt. Why why is he so burned already? Falling off like this. What happened to you? You did. Nanny happened to. Nanny, hearing that name, that was someone who helped me ask escape. Where is she? Couldn't be trusted. So she's gone this time. Tony's gone next time. Now give me the book. Don't bother telling me it's not with you. Because I'm shooting you either way if you don't hand it over right now. Over my dead body. Not stronger than me now, are you? <laughs> Let's go, Billy! <laughs> Billy! Uh. As I was saying, hold my rope to your mouth. 
and jump in the pond on your way out. Wait in the water until the fire's burned over. What about you? Go! I turn, rushing out the door. There's nobody standing between me and the pond. I've made it through this. I take one last look behind I'll me. Get you. Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. Huh. Looks like she was stronger than me after all. You've got your work cut out for you, kid. Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Next time on Sucker for Love, the lonely devil arrives. Now who wants an autograph? Not me. Damn. Okay, that was... Oh, look at that picture. That's sweet. The true ending of chapter 2. And with that, we completed two chapters. Out of three, maybe four? Probably four. Oof. Yeah, it's four. For love. Date to die for. Okay, so... That was it for today. We're gonna continue this game next Thursday. So, in seven days from now. And we're probably gonna finish it then. Um, first impression after, what, four hours now of this game? Really, really fun. Really good. Really, real big upgrade from the last one. I am really, really happy with that. And I'm really, really happy we waited for the devs to put out this gem of a game. I cannot wait to see what happens in Chapter 3. And, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find someone to raid real quick that plays this game too. Since it recently came out, it's probably...